Greetings, and welcome to another video, and today, I got better quality recordings. Now, as I mentioned in a previous video, I'm going to be working on redoing a lot of my older videos to improve the quality of the channel. I might go and delete you know, those old videos after, I, you know, after I've redone them. Maybe I'll forget. Probably forget. But, now, a while back I did a video where I decided to, you know, to go through, you know, Amazon with a $100 budget that I actually didn't have to purchase martial arts training equipment. This was done to yet yeah, this was done with the purpose intent of being a, of showing people how to go about you know, these decisions if they want to start buying training equipment for their martial arts. Of course, it was also just it was also just a moderately entertaining video that I did when I had nothing better to do. So, let's start. Now, what do you need when training your martial arts? Now, at the base level, apart from going to class, having a training partner, all that, you don't really need much. You can practice your techniques yeah, on the air, yeah, and, yeah, and in terms of strength training, yeah, you have, yeah, there are plenty of bodyweight exercises. Shadow boxing covers the, yeah, most problems. And for endurance training, there's always running. But let's look at the biggest problem that in that in what I just said. I said for strength training, body weight exercises can take care of most you know, most of it, which is true. But most people hate body weight exercises, and it's oftentimes more convenient to just use weights. Plus, some things like the posterior chain are very hard to train without you without the use of weights. So let's think about it like this. Yeah, we have a limited budget, so we have to limit ourselves to one one weight. Now, what is the most efficient you know way to go about weight training with one piece of equipment? And really, there's only one answer. Kettlebells. Kettlebells, very easy to get creative with, Ex excellent number of exercises, and very good for general martial arts practice. Plus, it's good for endurance training, too. So, let's look at the prices of the first ones come up here. And one of, one of them here takes up the entire budget. This one is almost twice the budget, and the rest of these just take up a lot of money. So, let's you know, do some tags here. Now, I say maximum. For kettlebells, generally, from what the one that I personally own costs fifteen dollars, so let's put fifteen dollars as the maximum. Now, right now we're seeing only five pound ones, except for this ten ten pound one. Doesn't look like we're going to be getting any higher. And here we have a 15 pound kettlebell for $15. Now you might be questioning it. Wait, no, actually, it might be more. Okay, doesn't. Apparently, if you click on it, it doesn't actually. T huh, I think that's a glitch. But. $15 kettlebell, 15 pounds, maybe. If not, the 10 pound ones that cost the same will work just as well. So I guess let's uh, go back and grab one of those since this one clearly isn't working for some reason. Alright, now where was that 10 pound one? Ah, here it is. Wait, is this the same brand? Yeah, the same one that we just saw. Yes, it is. But, let's see if this one works. It does. Okay, so we got a method of training, a method of strength training. Now let's think. Outside of that, what do we need to train? Yeah, to train. Now, Strength has been covered 
Let's th look at other. Th let's look at other things. So the most important thing for any martial artist is to train is their martial arts, of course. Now, let's let's think. What's the most important method? Important training equipment for a person to practice their martial arts. Now, that would be probably a heavy bag. You can, yeah, you, know, you can practice any strike on a heavy bag, and yeah, you know, and even more than that, you can practice some takedowns. And if you have something like a rope or a belt, you can tie, you can wrap. Hat, put that around the bag and use it to practice certain grappling, like maybe arm drags. Yeah, yeah. Sh I use it to practice my same nage. That's a shoulder throw. And heck, if you need, yeah, if you put the bag low enough, you can even practice your double. You know, practice your double leg, or yeah, I think the double leg is really the only one you can. But it generally works pretty well. But we cannot afford a heavy bag because those that come up at, as almost the entire budget already. So let's think. What yeah, can we do yeah, that can substitute a heavy bag? Now, you can use you know, use certain things that you are that already are an option, like maybe walls, trees, or anything like that. But you will hurt your hands unless you're wearing gloves. So let's look at gloves. And uh, generally, MMA gloves will be cheaper. So let's go up to twenty-five dollars. And oh, would you look at this? And a let a ten ninety-nine pair of gloves that look pretty good. Yeah, and over a thousand over a thousand yeah reviews, four and a half stars. That should be more than more than good enough. No, of course you can't. Oh, hmm. Uh, I should probably probably have to put in a size. Uh, not sure what size my hands are, so I'll just put medium. Be say be on the safer side. Okay, that puts the price up to twelve ninety nine. But it's still within the range of it being usable. So let's add that to the cart. <sighs> okay, we got we have we've got twenty eight dollars now. Let's think. What else? Now I mentioned that you can practice any technique with a, any striking you know, technique with a heavy bag. But I yeah, but the gloves don't really do provide any protection for your other parts of your body, so can't really do those on you know, the things. So how do we? So let's think. Is there a sub way to substitute the he buying a heavy bag? Yes. Matter of fact, it's pretty easy. Now what you're going? Now I'm not going to cover yeah you know, cover all the stuff on here because you won't get a lot of yeah you know, some of the stuff for it on here. But what you do is you get you go yeah you know, to yeah, an auto dealer place, a mechanic shop, any of those places, and you ask if they have any used any yeah, used tires that they're planning on throwing out, and ask if you can have them. Generally, they'll just give them to you for free because they actually have to pay to get rid of those things. They can't be used for the cars anymore, so generally, as long as you let them know that you're not going to use them for an actual vehicle, they will just let you have them. And so... That's a free trick right there. I mean, other than maybe gas money to get yeah to get to the place and uh, generally and just time, <laughs> but you can use those tires now. You can use the tires for multiple things. I personally use, you know, you can use them for strength training, even for improving your footwork. But we're going to be making a makeshift heavy bag out of it. And what do you need for that? And uh, not much. I mean, you'll need. You will need some tools, but generally, a dr I say a drill is pretty common in most households. But if not, you know, a knife, yeah, or even just a sharp stick that you heat up, will be able to get, put the holes necessary in the tires for the Mars. If you want to know how to make this, just uh, Google DIY tire punching bag. 
you'll you'll find a lot of videos. ZNA Productions has a really good one. So, other than that, you'll need some yeah some paracord. And some people will, you know, will recommend having, yeah, you know, having, uh, yeah, you yeah, know, bungee cables for this, but you don't need it. It's more than anything; it's just uh, personal preference. So, for the sake of saving money, yeah, we won't use them. And other than that, just need to hang it. You could. Ha and you might not even have to hang it from, yeah. You know, have to yeah you know, figure yeah you know, set up anything to hang it from. Maybe if you have a tree, you can just sh tree. You can hang it from that. Hmm. Or of course you could set up a you could set up a yeah a stand. Of course stands are generally inferior unless you got a good stand that still lets you move around it, and then the bags move around. But generally, you might you probably won't have to. Move. If not, it's relatively cheap to yet you had to make shift this. So, what else would we need? So, yeah, we got an implement for yeah for yeah two implements for training are striking, and they kind of go hand in hand because well, let's be real, nobody wants to punch tires barehanded. I mean, I've done it; it doesn't hurt that badly for me. But then again, I. Refer to the videos I just posted yesterday about the Makiwara. We even have methods of practicing takedowns because of the punching bag. So, in terms of yeah, of a immediate necessity, yeah, you know, for technique, I think we're I think we're pretty well sorted. We only have seventeen dollars left, so let's really think about this. Okay. Hmm. I suppose it would be good to have something. Yeah, something that would require you. Yeah, the sim. Yeah, that would require the simulation of certain certain aspects of training that you can't get without a partner. Like a double end bag would be the best thing, but I severely doubt we're going to get one with yeah you know, with a yeah you know, with a maximum of fifteen dollars. But let's check. If not, I already have in mind a substitute. And we actually found one. Of course, it's three and a half stars with 27 reviews. Probably not going to be the best quality and wit. Actually, never mind. That looks like the one that I have. That one's not that good. <sighs> hmm. Okay. It looks like this is not the best bag, but certainly not the worst. So this could so this could definitely be used. Now, we got yeah, it looks like we got two dollars to wait. Oh wait! I just realized the realized I was doing this wrong. The budget was a hundred. 
Okay, let's, you know, go back to thinking. Let's go back and get a better, a better double head bag, actually. We can afford to, you know, spare a few more dollars. Let's go up to 25 for this. Alright. Ooh, this one right here is good. Yeah, it even yeah, it comes with the pump, the car some carabiners to help hang it. And yeah, even some reflex balls for yeah, as a bonus. Now, yeah, we have about forty dollars left. Farm. So let's think. Is there anything else? Yeah, that immediately comes to question with this. <laughs> All right. To give you guys some, yeah, something to look at while I'm while I'm thinking, I'm going to just go down the. Yeah, scroll down through the martial arts training page of this. <laughs> hmm. As far as immediate training gear goes, I think it's actually, yeah, actually, mostly covered. Oh, wait. I just realized a jump rope would actually be a really good idea. Good for good for endurance, training the training the calves and calves, shoulders and forearms. I think the forearms, maybe. And just and good for improving your footwork. So, let's look for a jump rope. And uh, honestly, you could probably get a cheaper one of decent quality at Walmart. I mean, I've had one that I got for about $5. It's current. It currently has managed to last me about well, about three years at this point. All right. Now, I'm going to go with this one here that costs $9. Look, they look roughly the same, but this one has a textured handle, yeah, which would make it easier to keep a grip on. Also, it's cheaper, but mostly because of the textured handle. I hate it when my hate it when my hands get sweaty and I lose grip on the on the jump rope. It's yeah, it's just annoying. Okay, now we have about forty dollars left. Oh, look, a sponsorship thing by Tony Jeffries. I like Tony Jeffries. Good channel. 
excellent boxer. You know, don't you ever notice how on Amazon, once you get, yeah, Amazon, you, yeah, when you search for something, a bunch of the results are not even related in any way to what you're looking for? I mean, how does swim, tr how do swim trunks relate to martial arts training equipment? Unless you're training that marine martial art, which is basically just shallow water grappling. All right, now, I'm going to start including, yeah, yeah, some general, okay, i I'm going to start including some general, yeah, stuff for training that you'll, yeah, yeah, that you'd want, yeah, because at this point, you're past the point of basic training gear that you would, yeah, that you would want to get. So the rest of this stuff is, uh, yeah, less important. So, let's see. What's something that a lot of people don't work enough on? Yeah, that could, yeah, that, yeah, that has the equipment that can be easily bought. Footwork. We already got the jump rope to cover the, you know, to get you off the base level, but let's add in some, add in something else, an agility ladder. Ah, uh, funny enough, I actually bought this, yeah, this, yeah, exact agility ladder for my, yeah, for my dojo, but because everyone in there, including me, needs needed to work on our footwork. But our sensei doesn't have us use it. Yeah, use it because he thinks it. Yeah, use it and uh, compared it to football stuff. Those were his exact words too. Football stuff. <laughs> okay. After that, what else? Hmm. Okay, at this point, I think, you know, we've put enough, you know, we got, yeah, about, we got about $20, 20 left over, I think. We've gotten to the point of where we can get some more strength training stuff. Specifically, I think a pair of dumbbells would be good. Specifically, let's look at, you yeah, know, some of those uh, dumbbells that, you yeah, are adjustable. Doesn't look like we can get dumbbells with this budget. Okay. Well, this video is dragging on a bit too long. And I'm genuinely having trouble getting thinking of this last portion. So let me know in the comments what you would do with your last $20. Yeah. Other than that. Yeah, thank you.